Navy Lieutenant Commander, well, charged with paying a minor for relations. Put him up for a mask. Sad story here in Washington. Lucas Martinez, a Lieutenant Commander from the Navy's Fleet Readiness Center, Northwest was arrested on allegations of sexual abuse of a 14 year old after paying for relations with the minor. The charges include third degree sexual abuse of child, commercial sexual abuse of a minor, communication with a minor for immoral purposes. According to an affidavit obtained by task and purpose, Martinez allegedly went to the home of the minor. He met online wearing his actual green camouflage Navy working uniform. Martinez paid $200 to have relations according to the affidavit. Martinez also allegedly used an official Navy phone line to contact the minor after their meetup. Now, why does he go there with his uniform? One, he's sick as hell. Two, it is to enhance trust, okay? They get these positions of high public trust and they leverage it in order to be monsters. There's more. This is how the investigation started. So in January, uh, this was January 20, uh, uh, 22nd, the mother of the 14 year old victim contacted the local police department because she received suspicious packages at her home containing sex toys and sex costumes. Okay. The child told his mother that he had been posing as an 18 year old to communicate with older men on adult websites and that the men agreed to send him gifts off his Amazon wish list. So the mother was rightfully nosy and looked into those packages. And this is how she uncovered the boy's profile indicated that he was looking for money and included a nude picture of the lower half of his body without his face. Official said no crime was established at that time, according to the affidavit. On February 9th, she contacted police again to report that Martinez had come to her home and paid her son to have sex. She told police that the two had met on Sniffies, a hookup app used by gay males. The two began texting and progressed to meet up in November, December 2023. The child would skip school to stay home to meet the lieutenant while his mother was at work. According to police, the child posed a question to Martinez and asked if he was a pilot. He responded, no, but I work in aviation. After the child blocked Martinez's number, investigators said they found numerous failed attempts by Martinez in January and February to contact the child. Officials said that Martinez called from a different phone number and left voicemails telling the child to unblock him. When officials traced the number, they found it belonged to Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command. According to the police report, when Lieutenant Martinez was arrested at his Oak Harbor, Washington residence on Friday, <clears throat> He initially remained silent and then allegedly told police as they collected his belongings, quote, I never slept with a minor, let alone, and he provides a name. According to the county jail's public database, Martinez was bonded out of custody as of Monday. He's not yet charged under the UCMJ, Military Code of Justice. Martinez is still assigned to FRCNW while the investigation is ongoing. Naval Air Systems Command spokesperson Marcia Hart told Task and Purpose, quote, we will not comment on the ongoing investigation. Local law enforcement has jurisdiction and we will support them in their investigation in any way possible. Hart said, there's no pending actions in the military's justice system, she added. Um, And in addition to what has been uncovered uh, because of a uh, very diligent mother, and also the prowess, the investigative prowess of local law enforcement. You have to wonder the way this individual operated. You you have to imagine this is not the first time. 
He's utilizing government equipment, government phones in order to further the exploitation and criminal activity. This is a person who's comfortable. All right, Sharon, horrible story. Thoughts? Yeah, it is. And, you know, I was recently talking to a, a friend of mine, a male friend who mentioned and said they should all be wiped off the face of the earth. It struck me, I'm not gonna go that far, but I'm so tired of children who can't vote, who don't have much control over their environment, being just kind of tossed aside. The sentences aren't long enough, the abuse is horrific, and this is stunningly disgusting. And yet, we seem to go back to these stories again and again and again, again and again. And I think it's time for us to take this matter seriously. It ruins lives, it harms our future, our kids, it's immoral, it's disgusting. Yeah, um, earth shattering um, for so many. And the reality is that the feeling today will permeate in different ways tomorrow, the next day, the next year, 10 years from now, um, where the young person needs counseling for a prolonged period of time. We've seen it over and over again. All right, okay, uh, we will bring you updates as that story develops, and I'm sure it absolutely will.